वेलकम टू जावाई जे सॉन्ग एंड रिसेंटली वन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट गट सेलेक्टेड इन द कॉग्निजेंट इंटरव्यू सो इन द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन दे आस्क लाइक लाइक दे आस्क सम डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो एंड सम सिंपल क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो सो ही हैव ए फोर इयर एक्सपीरियंस एंड ही इज ए जावा डेवलपर्स एंड इन द कोडिंग राउंड दे आस्क वन कोडिंग क्वेश्चन लाइक राइट ए कोड टू मूव ऑल द जीरो इन टू द राइट साइड of list using the java eight features and list having a positive numbers negative numbers and zero element also also maintain the order of non zero element in the list okay so they have provided one list hey this is the list you have and what you have to do is you have to move all the zero at the end okay and also maintain the order of the element so if you see here फर्स्ट वन देन आफ्टर माइनस थ्री देन आफ्टर फाइव देन आफ्टर माइनस टू देन आफ्टर एट देन आफ्टर माइनस फोर एंड देन आफ्टर दे आर प्रिंटिंग द जीरो एलिमेंट ओके सो दो थिंग्स वी हैव टू डू यूजिंग द जावा इट फीचर्स ओके सो हाउ वी कैन डू इट लेट से इफ यू डन ऑलरेडी यू कैन गो एंड डू सम अदर थिंग्स ओके एंड राइट सम अदर क्वेश्चन ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट डेवलपमेंट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन ओके so i'm going to create one new classes and in the class i will give the name called uh, move zero element zero element to right in list okay so this is the class which i have created here and let's create one main methods and in the main methods we have one list so let's import this list first okay once you import it it's look good <clears throat> what do we have to do next is we have to move all the zero element into the end using the java eight feature that things we don't want to forget it okay so this is nothing but numbers so how we can do it let's think about it so if you think like how we can move so somebody people will think like okay let's count the zero element and then after we can just keep those non zero elements and we can do it so this is the loop you have to iterate and you have to do it but if you go with the streams okay or java eight features then you have to take the help of the streams class and streams will provide you one of the very very interesting method which is concat and in the concat you have to pass hey we have a numbers they will take uh, two parameters as streams so you can say we have a one numbers converted to the streams and let's filter non zero element okay so how we can filter it so lambda expressions and you can write n not equal to zero so non zero element you can filter with that and then after at the end you have to filters zero element so we can write numbers dot uh, stream dot filtered and you can write same thing n n equal to equal to 0 then just filter it and then after collect those data okay so stream will concatenate both the data and they will provide you in one another list okay so let's write down collect collectors dot collectors dot to list once you are storing to the to list they will give you a flexibility to store in one list okay let me break it down so let's go to this part and then after the filter stream and then after collect it <coughs> okay so what we are doing a stream dot concat non zero element and then after zero elements and then collect finally and store it okay so we got the data which is move zero zero element okay let me print it those list okay this is one of the important questions also so may, might be in your interview they will ask you so you can give this answer properly so that's why i am preparing those questions so if you see here 1 minus 3 5 minus 2 8 minus 4 0 0 0 it's coming at the end so this is one of the questions so just you have to remember stream dot concat method is very very important to merge 
टू लिस्ट और मे बी टू इरे और फिल्टर इन डैट और डू सम ऑपरेशन इंटरनली वट इज द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी फॉर डैट सो इफ दे आस्क द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी यू कैन से टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इज ए कॉन्स्टेंट टाइम ओनली बट दे आर इंटरनली मेंटेनिंग इट विद द स्ट्रीम सो वी कैन से ऑर्डर ऑफ एन ओके इफ दे विल आस्क लाइक वॉट इज द स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी सो इफ यू सी हियर दे आर टेकिंग सम स्पेस हियर फॉर फिल्टरिंग द डेटा एंड स्टोर इट ओके सो दिस इज द वन लिस्ट दिस इज द अनदर लिस्ट सो If you combine all those things, the uh, space complexity is also order of n only. Okay, so you can tell those things also in the interview room. Let me run this, and you can see here this is the output. Okay, so I hope guys you can do if better way or something concise way. Please let us let us know in the comment sections. I will definitely check it out, and I will prepare some more videos based on that. If you suggest me, okay. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe my YouTube channels. Okay, don't forget it.